222 day, I want to talk about XRP and HBAR with its involvement in MTech and DROP for micropayments compliant to ISO 222 and its integration in FedNow. As can be seen here, that happened at the end of 2023, and their involvement in Project New Dawn, which is a US CBDC project. And I did first talk about this about one year ago. However, after I have learned more about what each of these projects and each of these companies are actually doing and involved with, I think it can be expanded even more. Over the last couple of months, the higher ups involved in Ripple and Hedera have gotten together a lot more often in public. And it makes a lot of sense because they have been working together in indirect or tangential ways, at least, in extremely high value projects. As can be seen here in the Project New Dawn PDF, which concentrates around Hedera, although it has a lot of ties into Ripple as well. Here's another shot of the Lehman Baird and Brad Garlinghouse interview preview, and that just further shows that HBAR and XRP continue to be involved together. And to begin, I'll explain a bit more on how Ripple and XRP and Hedera and HBAR are directly tied into the Federal Reserve and Fed now. Here is a shot from August 2023 off of the Federal Reserve site, and it calls out ECS Fin Inc., with it being called out as one of more than 120 organizations are participating in the FedNow pilot program. And if you go and check out ECS, it has information in their white paper that directly talks about Ripple APIs and third-party APIs. H however, it also goes to talk about ACH payments here and here, and it calls out Fedwire, SEPA, and Ripple again here, which all have ties back into what SHX is concentrating on. And to expand more on the XRP part, on the FedNow service participants and pr providers, you have Volante here, which is a Ripple partner as called out on this map from the XX account. Now, to concentrate a bit more on HBAR, the HBAR connection to the US Federal Reserve's CBDC proof of concept, Project New Dawn. Here's a couple of shots out of the white paper. And it talks a lot about Hedera, which I will come back to. Drop is a micropayments service that actually runs on Hedera and has been showcased by FedNow as called out here and here as well on the official site. And here is how it actually works. News that the Fed now is highlighting uh, drop. Why did you decide to build on top of Hedera? Oh, that, that was the, the easiest decision that we made. Uh, Hedera Hashgraph is really built for fintech applications. Uh, the speed of the transaction, it's about, it, it can do 10,000 transactions a second. When you talk about small value transactions, uh, you're doing small value transactions. That means you might do 10, 20 of them in a day. Right, so we needed we needed the speed, we needed the volume, and and uh, Hadera has that. But the second important aspect is the cost of the transaction. So Hadera Hashgraph has a fixed cost, and it's fraction of a fraction of a second. It's 0.001. Uh, so it's a no-brainer when it comes to building a payment platform. I'm kind of surprised how come others haven't built uh, their platform on on, on Hadera. The third important aspect, uh, which is uh, more specific to Drop, as we promote our product. People are also interested in who's behind this ledger, right? And the governing council that they have in Hadera helps us. Uh, they have top financial institutions behind them. They have 
top companies like Google's and IBM behind them. It, it all helps. It helps when they see it's open access, open source, and a large uh, set of enterprises behind it as a governing council. So the, if you look at the entire package, it becomes a very easy uh, option to go for. And a lot of those comments revolve around HBAR's transaction fees, which are not a token based fee that is dependent upon the value of the token itself. All of the transactions are charged in terms of USD at one one hundredth of a cent. So even if and when the value of HBAR goes up, the transaction fees will always remain at that point. And here is how Project New Dawn works and is connected to both Ripple and Hedera. Here we have it called out as Ripple primarily being involved in 2022, and it calls out they're working with MTech, Knox Networks, as you are able to see here. And if you check out our publication here, it talks about how the Digital Dollar Project has a technical sandbox that includes them too, as called out right here, which then ties back into EM Tech as it goes into its uh, association with HBAR in Project New Dawn. Checking out a bit more on Knox, they talk a lot about interbank platforms which sounds a lot like what Ripple has been concentrating on, particularly around its interledger protocol. And here is the Knox Networks white paper that was updated in August of 2023 that talks about a lot of things that sound like it would be directly connected to Ripple XRP and the ILP. And on this page right here, it explains what the interbank platform is, and it talks about its involvement with CBDCs, and it even calls out the Treasury Department as well. And if you look more into the map on XRP, you also have Accenture called out here. And Accenture is involved in the digital dollar project as well, because they are providing the first phase of funding for pilots to explore a US CBDC with the digital dollar project with at least five pilot programs. Here is that page on Hedera out of EM Tech's white paper on Project New Dawn. And it talks a lot about the power of the governing council, which includes people like Google, IBM, LG, and a lot of others at this point. However, it also calls out that the HCS can be plugged into private permissioned networks such as Hyperledger Fabric, R3 Corda, or Quorum, which is from JPM, which further ties into all of the different crypto projects, such as XLM, XDC, SHX, and everything else that is connected to those that is a high quality L1. And if you go back on our XRP map, you have obvious ties into R3, into R3 which are then connected into XDC, XLM because of its involvement with IBM and of course XDC. And on the DTCC note, which also connects XRP, XLM, and XDC, as I tend to talk about often, they are associated with the digital dollar project as well in Project Lithium, which aims to explore atomic settlement in which equity and money change hands simultaneously. How oh, even though we have not had a direct update on Project New Dawn in quite some time now, the ongoing and expanding involvement 
between people within Ripple and Hedera could indicate that not only this project New Dawn is in the works still, but it shows that all of these fintech L1s such as XRP, HBAR, XLM, XDC, and even SHX as an L2 continue to be more and more connected and intertwined.